Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, making a first thought look or whatever, or whatever I call it, uh, at DNF Duel here. Um, this is another 2D fighting game, uh, I believe it's also developed by Arc System Works, because I love their stuff. Um, this one is perhaps unfairly maligned, a lot of people like to make fun of this game and say it's shit and all that stuff. Um, it showed up on Steam at like a massive discount, so I figured, you know, I'll just grab it and have a little look and see if it's about as people say. <laughs> um, got my controller here. All good to go. Um, it goes into this intro very quickly if you just leave it sitting on the title screen, which is a little annoying, but it's fine. <laughs> uh, I've only had to do this once. If you have to scroll through this every time you play the game, that's gonna suck. Um, oh god, there's another one. Uh, you can see it's using A and B buttons in the prompt and stuff. It shouldn't be, because I have this control set to PS4 mode, but I might be able to change some settings. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, okay, yeah, just start with settings. It looks like it only supports that kind of button. It's a little frustrating, but eh, it's manageable. I can I can handle it. Uh, can do that. <laughs> Audio setting. I don't know. X language. Okay, yeah. So it has got it has got like a various dubs, but I don't think it has an English one. Yeah, that's Korean. Uh, that's Japanese, I think. It doesn't have English. Uh, I'll leave it on the default. Korean uh, is fine. Um, I didn't fit all with these settings yet, so it's default to 1080p, which is all good. I do need VSync on. I've noticed that causes some issues if I don't. Yeah, I'll hear auto settings and let it do whatever it thinks. There we go. All right. Um, so I don't really know a whole lot about this series, about this game. Um, DNF, I believe, is a fairly popular like MMO. Uh, and this is like a fighting game where you play as the classes from MMO, I believe is how it works. But I don't, I haven't played DNF itself, so <laughs> I'm just kind of going in more or less blind. Uh, let's just go into practice mode uh, and look at the tutorial, I guess, and see what the game has to offer. Um, okay, so here we go. You can see, yeah, rather than being particular character names, uh, they're like class names. Um, uh, I don't really know who I'm gonna vibe with the most. Here. Okay, you have guns, that's good. Cancer. Um, hmm. A puppet character, which might work for me. Can consume chases to strengthen self. <laughs> that might be that might be my character. <laughs> I don't know. Um, let me see. Let's let's try battle mage. I believe she's like a um, DLC character. Oh, uh, but I've got that, so it's fine. Um, Yes, I'll just go into the first tutorial. Back it looks cute. Kinda getting Gam Crowdberry vibes from the way she's been played out there. Which is cool. I assume this is actually going to disguise loading screen because of that pause there. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this is the one for one fighting game. Yeah. Oh, hang on, are there five rounds? Is that normal? Oh, 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 I see. The, you can have up to five, uh, but normally you would have just the two, I think. Um, HP gauge, timer. Yeah, this is the really basic stuff. I probably could have skipped ahead a few tutorials. Oh, you have a limited amount of block, which is governed by that gauge there. Okay. Okay. Um. Yep, movement works in pretty much the way you'd expect. 
I don't seem to be able to air dash, but it's possible that I actually can and it doesn't come up yet or something. Uh... Okay, so you have A, B, C attack button. Hmm, I didn't see a way to change it to show like A, B, C instead of X, Y. But maybe there's a way I shouldn't spot it. Oh, hang on. Oh, okay, so that, that's, um... The B button works like the skill button in Grand Blue. It's like a... It's like a, a, a skill macro button kind of thing. Maybe? I think you have MP skills. I'm guessing like ultimate skills or EX skills, what do you want to call them? They're called ultimate skills in Grand Blue. The general term is EX skills. Uh... And a grab. Yep, that input's fine. The grabs. Okay. Oh, it's a guard button. Okay. Okay. Um. Yeah. Okay. So this reminds me a lot of how Grand Blue works. Uh, because you do a lot of these things in that game. Uh, it's also got a guard button. Which I don't really like. I'm not a big fan of the guard button. I prefer just holding back. Uh, Awakening. Oh, it's a comeback ability. Okay. And that's the left trigger, which is this one. Okay, so it's a super skybound button. Okay, yeah, I know about those. <laughs> okay. White damage or red damage? Oh, okay. So you have uh, like temporary damage, which lets you recover by not being hit or by not guarding. Okay. Oh, and you need to land, like, you need to use meter in order to make sure you actually deal, uh, red damage. Okay, okay. I'm really curious whether this game actually has, like, conventional, like, quarter circle skills and stuff, given that it has a bunch of, like, skill macro buttons. Oh, did I do it wrong? I need to only attack you for quiet with regular attack. Or do you want me to hit? What, what do you want me to do by? What do you mean by the place you're to quiet down it? Oh, okay, it means turn it into red by using your meter. I, that makes sense. <laughs> I thought it was like hit them only with white damage. Uh and don't don't use red damage or something like that, but no, not what it was. Okay. Okay, when you have exhaustion, you can't use any MP skills until the bar starts filling up a little bit. Okay. Technical input. Okay, here we go. Some MP skills can by pressing the move button after inputting the directional buttons in a specified order. Salt can delay being shorter than normal. Oh, okay, okay, so it's the same button. You do a quarter circle, then you replenish MP faster. Okay, okay. Okay, interesting. So, so you can just go like that in order to do it faster, but you can see it takes longer for MP to replenish in that case. 
Oh, I should move my face. I'm, on, I'm in the wrong corner for this game. Uh, sound's gonna stop for a second while I click over here. <laughs> Oops. Sorry about that. Uh, this one. Go over here. Because there's text in this corner, so you wouldn't be able to see it. Uh, YB will write damage. So, uh, this one. Oh, okay. Okay. So, you're, you're, you're taking you're taking a bit more damage that way, but you're getting more MP. Okay. Uh, yeah, guarding. Yeah, you, you, it's, it's a standard guard system in every game. Uh, okay, you want a guard break by hitting them a lot? Oh. <laughs> God cancel. Spend 100 and Okay, so this is like um raging counter. Uh, I think you have to use the guard button to do it because otherwise you can't reach reach properly. You have to press forward. For some reason you press forward, which means which means you can't guard by pressing back. I guess you can. You can just hold back and then do this and it'll work. Ow. Yeah, okay. If you're holding back and then you press forward Y and B, it works. Okay. Uh, grabs. Yeah, you check grabs by grabbing at the same time they grab you. I'm a little screw. You will no longer- wait, wait, is it vulnerable against grabs? Wait, does blocking stop grabs in this game? That is really weird. Um... But normally, you know, it wouldn't. No normally, the way you, you break a blocking opponent is by trying to grab them. Well, that's one of the ways you can do it anyway. Hmm. Wrestling combos. That's easy enough. Yeah. Counter, yeah, I know about counter. Uh, when you hit them during their startup, when you hit them during recovery. Ground attack when you knock someone down. Tech might be up there. Okay. Yeah, you have to, you have to use your OT. Use some limited attacks to further punish downed opponents. Oh, there are attacks that work that way in this game? That is unusual. Usually a downed opponent in a fighting game is invulnerable to get back up. Uh, but apparently not in this case. Reversal as soon as... yeah, on the first possible frame, yeah. Uh, my webcam seems to be glitching up a little bit. Let me just have a little look here. Hang on. Better? Feeling better? Okay, I think the cable's a little, like, frayed or something. It can... It's a bit picky. It, yeah, yeah, it shows you those when you do those things, of course. And yeah, you see that when you do it. Uh, there's nothing really to do in that lesson, but okay. What are my just skills? <laughs> He's in chase. <laughs> uh, okay. So falling kettle palm is just sort of charge forward and just boop them. Uh, that's like a good anti-air. Yeah? Cool. Mm. Okay, so I can hold it down to get spinning one. Looks like a decent anti-air as well. Oh, I like that. I like Meteor Assault. That's cool. Okay, so I can generate my, my chases <laughs> by holding the button. Uh, and then when I have one, I can use Chase's Shot to launch it. 
<laughs> kind of hard to see if I have them because it's covered by my by the text telling me what to do with them. Uh, consumes all generate. Oh, now you do the explosion. Okay, that's cool. Uh, truth lightning strike. Oh, okay. Hundred hand slap with a big thing at the end. Am I everyone? Okay. Ah. Uh, AOB. Oh, whenever an AOB or attack connects, or when chase is generated. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. You'll be crunchy. Oh fuck. I pressed the actual B button because it's like the crouch B. Hey. Okay. Awakening effect. Harmonia. Okay, so those effects, I think it's like a, a passive buff or something, uh, when you're in the awakening state, so... And then you have your actual awakening skill. Okay. What if there's another input board if I have to do it this way? Uh, I'm just gonna go over into uh, training mode and just have a little look at how some of this works. Oh, and I can pick which one I want. Uh... Okay, so each character has two possible like uh, comeback states they can pick. Okay, so it's 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 not um there's a thing called moon style in Multi Blood Actress again um where each character has like three different versions uh this is not that this is a lot sim this is a lot more limited than that uh, since it's just changing like what happens when you're at low health basically uh but there do seem to be two versions of each character at least which is cool uh you probably don't get like a different set of specials or anything cool like that. Uh, Let's see, can I ask it to show me technical controls, or is that not a thing? Is it just on the B button? Hmm. I might, might be able... Hang on. Let me go back to the options and see if I can tweak some of this stuff. It'll be more intuitive to people who play normal fighting games. Um, yeah, those are fine. And yeah, there's nothing in there about... Yeah, it doesn't really seem to have things like uh, universal button displays, which is weird because most fighting games. Just visuals. Yeah, okay, so it looks like you don't seem to be able to view the technical controls like you can in ground blue. Uh, So you don't select color and express that, and then X is just these same settings. We'll see what colors there are. There are eight? There might be more to unlock, I don't know. Uh, the bolt's fine. Condition 
좋은데? 당신이 내 상대야? The seeds of volition. Okay. The absence of um specials on A and B is weirding me out. Also, also on. D, I think is the next skill button for. I don't know how I feel about the inputs in this game. Um, uh, let me try to meet someone else and just get a bit of a vibe with some other characters. You have guns, let's go. Dragon Knight might work for me, given that face with Zoe. I should set the stage to random or something if I can. Oh! You have to build to get bones. Okay. <laughs> I'm getting L-Felt vibes from the way that works. It's probably more Noah when on you if the game is older, but the Num Tri felt it's the same. Oh, it's a Falcon Kick? Yeah, I don't know how to play as this character, so I'm taking a lot of damage. If I can hold that down to get more hits, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know how to play it either. Ow. Keeping Joan Paramine. Round two. Fight! Jump for the name. So bad. Well done. So bad. Catherine Johnson. Fire! <laughs> 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 
I'm not sure how you tech um being knocked over. In, in Grand Blue again, which this game is reminding me of a lot, uh, you just press any attack button while you're tumbling away and you'll do a recovery. But that doesn't seem to work here. And I don't think the tutorial mentioned what to do in that case. I got my butt kicked, so. Hmm. Let's go try a few different characters and see if I can get a feel for the game. I don't think it's bad, but I think it might. It's just sort of weird, and it's not quite clicking with me for that reason. <laughs> if that makes sense. Uh, let's try Dragon Knight. Uh, because, yeah, um, Zoe is amazing. Um. It's like I like to say, yeah, random. But yeah, it seems like um the regular attack buttons A and B don't ever do specials, which is weird. <laughs> you basically got a button for specials and a button for specials that use meter. And those buttons are the only ways to do them, which is bizarre. <laughs> like, again, to compare with Granblue, because I keep doing that, uh, the way it works in that one is that every special is on all three regular attack buttons, uh, and the way you do the version of meter is to use the four special attack buttons. Uh, and then there's a separate button after that as well, which you can also use if you want, like, simpler input. But it's a separate button. I actually use my dragons. That was cool, but that's not, that's not using my dragons either. How do I use my dragons? Hit the command list, hang on. <laughs> command list. I'm an Astro with just the... Just the A button? Oh, okay. Oh, we have to press it with one of the other three buttons to choose what you want Astro to do. Okay. Okay, and then then I have... Yeah, a, sure, sure you can. Uh, and that's just a big, a big attack. Okay, so I was expecting more of a zona. Um, like, I've got a projectile, uh, which is using some Astra with various things, but most of this is more... It, it, it's more, it's more, um, Shoto, it's more close up. Uh, I seem to have a grab, that might be Biting Dragon? I don't know if it actually counts as a grab. Dabs, field uppercut. Yeah, these ones don't appear to have um, technical inputs at all, whereas um, the MP skills do because they consume MP, and the purpose of the technical skills is to not consume MP. And only some of them work. Oh, sorry, not to consume MP. To um, consume to regenerate MP faster. Um, like these ones, uh, <clears throat> you can do a technical input. This one, these ones, you can't. Uh, hmm, just because it's the button with no direction. Interesting. And with the B button, yeah, there's no technical inputs at all. It's just pressing the B button in various contexts. I I'm still trying to do quarter circles and stuff, but they're not doing anything. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, this feels less projectile focused than the way um, Zoe works. Like, she's also got a sword and a lot of, like, rush downy kinds of moves, but she has more of a zone feel than this. And 
the way your meter works, it regenerates very quickly, so I think you're encouraged to use MP skills more often. Especially because they don't all use, like, the same amount. Which they often do in other fighters. Oh, fuck. This is kind of a sick um, super you've got here. That's really cool. <laughs> 95. Oh, or I'm fucked. <laughs> okay, so that is the standard best of three by default, but it looks like it shows you a maximum on the HUD for some reason. In... Oh, oh, you can only have up to five, round, five wins each before it's over, which is weird. Because most fighters will let you put that number up, like, pretty much as high as you want. <laughs> or at least it doesn't show you, like, unusable slots, which is what this game is doing, which is really weird. I assume when the health bar gets wider, that's when my cube activates. <laughs> yeah, the vibe I'm getting is that this game is not bad, it's just weird. <laughs> like, compared to the games I am used to, it's just different. Um, and I kind of suck at it, but... Like, it's something I can, I can learn, it's just not what I'm used to. Um... Hmm. A little bit of a soul bad guy vibe from you. Only a little bit, like he doesn't have like a um headband or anything, but you know I'm getting the vibe. <laughs> I kinda wish the character select screen still, for um, this section still showed you the character descriptions, like the training mode was doing. Uh, just so I can get an idea of who everyone is while I'm trying that here. I assume all of these lines are generic because they don't really sound like they apply to specific characters who are talking. Unlike in Grand Blue, to a certain extent, unlike Strive, because they've been adding more lines to fix that, but this game doesn't really seem to do that. Also, ow. Okay, so I appear to be a katana focused character. That's cool, I like katanas. And you can't just do a super with full bar like you can in, in um, Granblue, for example. Because you've only got a super at low health as a recovery thing. Ow. Oh, I'm dead. I kind of wish there were subtitles for, like, the dialogue during the battle. Um... Grambly doesn't do that either, but it has an English dub, so I can understand it. But this one doesn't. It's just in Korean, in Japanese, and probably, probably Mandarin, I'm guessing, is the other one. Uh... I'm not sure. The one, the one, the only one I can really read is Japanese. <laughs> Ow. I haven't got a good gist of how this pack room works in this fight, because they just keep getting comboed. <laughs> I like that twirly thing, that looks cool. I might pick Spectre again and put here against someone else so I can try some stuff. Uh, and I'll also check the command list so I know how she works. Um... 
I don't know if this, like, the way this is working is trying to mimic the way DNF Duel works. Oh, sorry, DNF Duel, the DNF, the MMORPG. Um, because I do, we do have mana bars, I assume that's a thing in the other one. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if it's, like, a single shared mana bar and everything just consumes mana, uh, which is how this works. Or if it's more like a cooldown system, like a lot of MMOs, which is how Grand Blue works. Um... I do like her design a lot. Um, okay, we pause right away. Like the analyst tells me. So just tapping the button maximizes mana using Ghost Fastener to be empowered during activated time. Oh, it, it boosts your attack and it lets you cancel MP skills into other MP skills. Oh, okay. Okay, so it's it's a it's an install state. Okay. And I can do it again. What, while they have a if I press the button again, I'll do that. Uh, uh, that's that's on my Dragon Punch input. Okay. Oh, that's that twirly thing, yeah. Blending thing. And an airborne one. It's interesting that everyone has separate airborne skills, rather than having some that are air okay, which is what a lot of them do. Double shot, boop. Definitely a, a, a sword focus here. Oh, okay. I have a airborne grapple kind of thing. It's called booze for some reason. Oh, and I can slash downward. Okay. Damn. Okay, so, yeah, you don't have an air dash in this game, but you can substitute it with something like that. Not my character, but I'm I'm getting more of a gist of how she works. <laughs> I wish I had more information after a fight too. Like, again, Grand Blue and Scribe do. <laughs> <laughs> um, there are a couple of things that I think are genuine issues with the game, like I can't change it to use generic inputs, it's using platform specific buttons all the time even though they're the wrong ones, but it's just a PS4 controller. Um, and what else? A couple of other stuff. <laughs> Got other stuff was. <laughs> I assume you're just like a punching sort of girl. I don't know what. Um. And yeah, but but mostly it's just weird. Um. It's like a lot stranger 
in terms of how it's designed than the anime fighters I'm used to. Um, despite the art style, I think this is really not an anime fighter. Um, like Grand Blue is kind of on the on the cusp, if that makes sense, of not being an anime fighter. Uh, this one also doesn't have air dashes, and it's also weird as shit. <laughs> Okay, so are you a puppet character? Is that what we're doing? It looks like you probably are, in a very literal sense. <laughs> the intro is fun. Uh, I'm liking that. I assume there are no charge inputs in this game? Because that wouldn't really make a lot of sense. Okay, so I can charge for the two of those. Uh, uppercut. And advancing punch. One kick. Kicking down. Okay. Yeah, it's just designed in a really strange way compared to other fighting games. <laughs> and the um, character movesets are kind of limited as a result, if that makes sense. Um, because, for example, like, uh, like, like, say, Tiger Chain Strike or whatever. There's only one version of that. Um, in Grand Blue again, uh, you would have like four different strengths of the same skill, and they would do slightly different things, and that would be a lot more flexible. Um, it just seems to make the most sense to compare this game to Grand Blue because of a lot of the similarities. But yeah, it's just got made some really strange decisions that confuse me. <laughs> Uh, okay. Also, blocking seems to be, like, really good in this game, which is kind of weird. I guess the, it's got the gauge, so the blocking does get interrupted eventually, but... Ow. Oh! Hello. I like stunned you for a moment. I mean, my character, uh, because it's, it's just a like, rough down punch girl, but it's fun. limited that you seem to have just the one super uh, as well like e even even something like grand blue that's very like you have a skybound art and that's your skybound art it also has super skybound arts so there's more <laughs> actually the way it works here where you can only use your use it at low health and it's got a dedicated button that reminds me of Tekken. uh which is weird <laughs> compared to the other games i used to um what does that do? Ah, oh, I can unlock a character by playing story mode, okay. I'm not used to unlockable characters in fighting games, given I play mostly modern ones that have everyone available from the start, but I, I know I know it's a thing. <laughs> uh, I'll try being enchantress myself and see how she plays. Yeah, the general vibe I'm getting on all of this is, like, the game's not bad. There are a few things it does 
less than ideally. In particular, the um, input thing showing Xbox buttons when it should be able to just say A, B, C, D or whatever. Um, and it feels a little weird that I can't ask it for information about technical inputs and stuff like that. Uh, again, to compare with the same game I keep comparing it with, Granville has the like show technical input button on the command list to press and it swapped everything over to technical, uh, which is how I usually play. Um, the seeds are trapped on new challenger. Round one. Yeah, it's just it's just designed a bit differently than I'm used to for the most part. Uh, we've got showtime. Oh okay, so I can control my puppet by hitting a So can I not move during showtime? Am I stuck work? Am I stuck stationary? How's it work? Okay, no, I think I think we both move. Yeah, we both move together and both attack, I think. Okay. Ow. Okay, my range is not very good on that. I wasn't sure. Hmm. Yeah, I don't really know how to play pop at character, it's something I've really done before. <laughs> Get <laughs> Nia and Grambler, who is incredibly easy to play. Um, but she's not my main anyway, so. <laughs> it can be quite vulnerable to grab, at least with for you is. Okay, and you can block supers like that. Ow. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, you interrupted my, my super. I thought the super flash might make me vulnerable, but I guess it doesn't. Okay. Yeah, I don't think Enchantress is my character. I like her design though. And it's it's I enjoy spooky, spooky death character. Like Nia. <laughs> when I go back to Battle Mage, I have a feeling she's probably gonna click for me once I work out how to play her properly. <laughs> I don't know anything about the DNF lore, but it looks like these characters are maybe elves. They, they've got the pointy ears going on. <laughs> well, I guess airships are a thing. Again, like Grambler. So 
you sort of build up uh, power up from the amusingly titled chases. Uh, ah, fuck. That was a cool hand thing. Yo, power myself up and become blonde. Let's do it. Oh, you don't even see your opponent. Oh, that's weird. Okay. <laughs> First player win. Heck yeah. Well, Any taunt in this game? Maybe? I haven't actually taunted yet, but I don't know if it's possible. No, that is definitely a specific line for this character, right? Maybe there are specific lines for this character. Um, it's kind of funny that there's a grappler named Grappler. He just looks like Ryu. <laughs> I assume he's actually a grappler. Like, why would you name your character Grappler and then make him not a grappler? But he could be a Shoto. He could be Ryu. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, well, we'll see, I guess. Yeah, I've seen this one already. This is a trick to new challenger. Round one. Fight! Oh, yeah, that seems like a bit of a grapple. Grappling the grappler. Uh, fuck. You'll be fine. I had to win my health. I think there's a taunt button in this game. Oh, let's grab. Again. 
God. Yeah, th those are uh, just macros. Uh, awakening and LP. Yeah, but there doesn't seem to be a way to taunt because they've already used up the combos of buttons to do other stuff. It's a bit weird. But there isn't a dedicated taunt button in Grand Blue either, but you can taunt with them. Um, I think it's L and U together. I really remember because I have to do it. Oh, it's not necessary, but it is in the game. Oh. I'm grappling. I'm like grappling you. Ow. Round three. Fight! I assume he's got some sort of like absorber hit and then counter thing that he hates doing. I don't know what his move set is, but a lot of grapplers do a thing like that. It's kind of like Hammer Hall, the pretend thing can do. Well, I assume it's not charge input because this game doesn't really seem to have those. Maybe some characters do. Scramble has them. Uh, they're optional because the game is simple. It has, like, fairly standard fighting game inputs as well. Whereas this one is just weird. <laughs> there we go. Okay, well, I've played for about an hour. I like this game. Um, I don't think it's shit. Uh, there are a couple of, like, missing features uh, that other fighting games do have, and this one doesn't. Uh, which I find a little disappointing. Um, the roster is also... Well, let me see. Then 19 characters, that's a decent amount. Um, like, there are games with, you know, a lot more than that, but it's, it's an okay, it's an okay size. And I think they're gonna fill in this slot below here as well. Uh, so, you know... It's not bad. Um, the characters have more personality than you'd expect, given that they're just classes, um, which I like. Uh, I, I do get like a certain vibe from each of them, which is which is good. Um, hmm. Kind of button around a little bit. I might try going into arcade mode one and just see what, how it works in this game. Uh, probably a battle mage seems to be who works best. Okay, so in this game you appear to just have a fixed difficulty. And there's only three options, so... Partly it's like Scribes Arcade where you have three difficulties, but it doesn't look like you can change difficulty as you go, which you can in that game. Uh, based on, like, round bosses and stuff. I'm just gonna play and see how it goes. <laughs> 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 Yeah, not bad. I assume it gets harder as you go. Usually stage one is a Yeah, not 
빠야지. 힘은. 아저씨, 그런 덩치로 갑자기 달려들면. Okay, so those lines do change. I think it's pick an extra opponent, but it looks like the difficulty probably stays the same. Okay. It's not as uh, personalized as something like Grand Blue, but it's it's all right. Uh, and the difficulty doesn't seem to co correspond to which opponent you pick either. Uh, again, comparing with Grand Blue. Uh, you get to pick from three opponents. You can go like either up, down, or stay at the same difficulty level, and each one's a separate opponent. Fair enough. The seeds are trapped on new challenger. Round one. Ow. Oh my god, that's so much damage. I'm getting body. <laughs> okay, yeah, let's just turn blonde. Let's do it. Ah, I need to stop jumping into that. God. <laughs> okay, run soon. Ah, I jumped over it that time. It still got me. That's really good. That's more like it. I'm assuming you're also a Zona. <laughs> oh, I don't have any guns. I really know what he does, but I can't do much of anything. <laughs> Yeah, so he does shoot you with a gun, man. 
There's like zero. <laughs> it's just very funny that they're called faces. <laughs> okay. I think it's eight stages in this one. There's absolutely no story here, which is fine. That's not a problem. Um, Graham doesn't really do that either. Just the characters interacting in the normal way that they wouldn't us as mode. But... Because there is a separate story mode, right? So I can look at that and get a story. I just really like the way Strive works, so there's a little bit of a narrative move into the arcade mode. The seeds are trapped on new challenger. Round one. lose your points. Okay. okay, so yeah, um this game is weird. <laughs> um it's just it's just a very strange design compared to what I'm used to for a fighting game. Uh, especially an anime fighting game. Um it's not bad. Um and I'm enjoying it. Uh it's just different. <laughs> Um, uh, it looks nice, the characters seem pretty fun, um, it's just, it's just, it's got a bit of a learning curve that this is, this is the game and it doesn't work the way I'm used to. 
<laughs> um, but yeah, um, it's fun. Uh, I imagine you'd probably enjoy it more if you were more invested in DNF, because I've never played it, and I'm, this is my first time meeting all these characters, but... Um, I don't think that hurts it too much. Like, again, to once more say Grand Blue, Rising was the first game in that in that universe I play as well, and I'm really invested in that now and playing about like all the others. So, you know, might happen here too. Who knows? <laughs> um, but yeah, this game seems pretty fun. Um, just strange if you're more used to a fighting game with more conventional inputs, I guess. <laughs> um, because, yeah, there's absolutely no half circles or uh, overdrive inputs or um, charge inputs for that matter. Just down here in this game, uh, there's no double crouch input to do anything, that kind of thing. You've got two dedicated buttons for specials, and one of them works for technical inputs and the other one doesn't, and that feels weird. That's a really strange choice. <laughs> it definitely feels like both of the skill buttons to do something if you give them a technical input. Um, like if I press, uh, if I press like a core circle forward into S, it should be the same as pressing like, I don't know, forward, just forward S, but give me some sort of boost. Maybe a damage boost like in Grand Blue, maybe it makes my MP regenerate a little bit quicker. Something. Um, it's weird that it doesn't do anything. <laughs> um, that's just a strange decision. Um, Apart from that, and the like, prompts not matching my controller, which is, you know, a minor thing, you're gonna you can work around that. Um, I like it. <laughs> but yeah, that's DNF Duel, uh, a game that a lot of people love to hate, and I can only kind of understand why, because it is weird, um, but it's not bad weird, and I don't think the weirdness of the inputs is the reason people don't like it. If that makes sense. Um, but yeah, it's, it's just a bit more of a learning curve. Um, it definitely feels like it should have air adapters, and it's weird that it doesn't, though. <laughs> yeah, so that's about all I got. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Bye! <laughs>